The next thing that's going to be taken, I think, if we keep going the way we're going, is religious liberty. I mean, there's already been a number of assaults on that front, with not a lot of pushback. A bit, but not in proportion to the attack. And again, I don't want to be alarmist about this, but I think the next thing that's going to be taken is going to be religious liberty. And I don't think it'll make a difference in the lives of most Catholic men. Because even if religious liberty is taken away, you'll still be able to go to Mass on Sunday. That's what you're doing with your private time. You're keeping Mass inside the church walls. Even if religious liberty is taken away, you'll still be able to, you know, pray your rosary in private if you want. If religious liberty is taken away, no, no problem. It, it prob you'll still be able to send your kids to religious ed and drop them off and not have any conversations with them about what they learned or what they didn't learn. I just, part of me thinks like, yeah, whatever, take it away. Why? Because we have it now. What the hell are you doing with it? I mean, everyone in this room, we've had religious liberty for over 200 years. Well, what have you done with it? I use it to go to church and leave church at church. I use it, again, as I said, to drop my kids off religious ed and let someone else teach them about who God is. I use it to just kind of be like everyone else. And you know, I've had religious liberty our entire lives and I've done virtually, I don't know about your interior life, I don't know the details of your life, but I've done virtually nothing with it. Why? Because we don't think we need to be defiant. We just want to live like everyone else. And yet this culture is winning. Men, here's the reality. To be a Catholic man in this day and age, to be a Catholic man in this culture, in this world and in this place, we're going to have to be men who reject passivity and embrace responsibility. We have to be men who are actually deep in training and asceticism and ascesis and saying, like, every day I want to be trained more and more to be like Jesus. We trained more and more to be like the Son loving the Father. Men and women, men who can not only, not only can do what we need to do when we need to do it, but do what we need to do when we need to do it. Men of integrity. And men who are willing to love enough to be different, to love enough to look different, to love enough to be defiant. My guarantee is if we become men like that, responsibility, competence, integrity, love, and defiance, there is no way with our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, there is no way that this culture, this whole world, and especially your families won't be redeemed for Jesus Christ. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. These are pretty strong words from Father Mike, but all you have to do is look around and see that Christianity is under attack. So what are we going to do about it? There's a famous phrase, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. What are we doing to prevent evil? Are we striving each day to be more and more like Jesus? Or are we just leaving church at church, as Father Mike mentioned? With God's grace, we can change the world. Also, I've been making more of these short highlight videos because you all have been liking and sharing them so much. So please keep that up. Have a blessed day and God love you.